evening, welcome to the Barrel House. Tonight we're doing something kind of fun. We're doing another blind taste test. We're gonna do, I, everybody talks about Old Forester, everybody loves 1910, you know I love 1920. Like let's do a comparison of something in the same price range. This is easy to get, it's a little harder to get. I looked at other ideas to go with 1910. This really, when you start thinking age statement, this is a four year, four to five year, this is a 10 year but this has got a second charred oak to it. This has got charred oak in color. I think they're gonna be some similar flavors and taste. This is gonna have the oak of 10 years, but because this was double oaked, it's gonna be close. 93 proof, 93 proof, 90 proof. So we have Old Forester 1910 versus Eagle Rare. 10 year, 90 proof. So let's give it a try. I've got my little bottles poured and ready to go. And I have no idea which one's which. So once I do it, I'm gonna pour one in here. The label is on the bottom. And I am gonna leave this one right there. And then I'll move this one out. Pour this one in. This one will go right here. So I'll leave this one on the left, this one on the right. And, um, Let's give it a go. We're gonna have flavors. Um, you know, you say in the color, okay, I know which one's which already. Maybe not, because this one is char number four for 10 years. This has a char number four for like six months. Um, they really are close in color. Um, the way that they're angled here, I can't really tell too much. So I am going to try this one first. Mm, that has a very nice start, kind of a caramel brown sugar, maybe almost maple with, with some oak. Yes, very smooth. And it, once again, has kind of a brown sugar, almost, gosh, almost like, I wouldn't call it graham cracker, like marshmallow, toasted marshmallow campfire. Really, really delicious. And now this one. You might be catching some of the noise in the background. Sorry, my dog is enjoying a bone. So, hey, I get to enjoy whiskey. He's got to have fun too. So, this has a nice nose also. Um, more vanilla and uh, definitely the brown sugar. Some nice, nice little, like a sweet oak. Oh, yeah. Really nice finish. This just goes down so smooth. Um, not quite as toasty. This has vanilla and caramels. Almost like a, maybe a, there's a, there's a citrus, almost like a citrus peel there. Almost like, um, yeah. Very citrusy, um, leathery citrus. Mm, so sweet. Caramel. Maybe uh, light on the brown sugar. And um, let's go back to this one. Actually, I'm going to take a sip of some water. <clears throat> now, I, you know, it's Eagle Rare and it's 110. Um, I want to do something with really good bottles. Whenever you can find Eagle Rare, get it, of course, but I would also say get this. What I'm trying to say is this is easy to find and as good, <clears throat> as good. These are both fantastic. I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick, <clears throat> even though I kind of know um, which one's which, I think, but I'm not positive. That one's got a little bit more like brown sugar, almost maple syrup. The oak comes out. Um, I thought at first like like maybe a toasted marshmallow on a campfire. It's kind of campfire, but I'm not sure if I'm getting as much of the marshmallow on the second as it's opened up. I mean, really fantastic. Deep, or some char there, brown sugar there. Very, very good. Oh my goodness, this is very hard. Um, this means get both. 
This is harder to find, so definitely you can get this anywhere. They're both, this is around a $50 bottle. This is 45 to 50 to 60 to 80. <laughs> I mean, what area of the country you live in, I get lucky enough to get it at MSRP most of the time around 40 to $45. This one is so smooth all the way, start to finish. Um, maybe not quite as much. <clears throat> There's pretty much no hug there. It's it's just amazing. They're both so amazing. This just goes all the way through. Cotton that is toasty, but it's got a nice oak finish to it. Um, it's it's definitely got some like some sort of a fruit zest and um, yeah, just a little caramel. Um, they're, they're both so fantastic. This one seems a little bit deeper. And honestly, this has more flavor appeal. And I can't, I mean, the proof's so close, so I can't tell. Um, this one may be slight more burn on the finish, but it's so deep and rich. So I am going to go with this one. So it's this one here. I, I mean... I think it's Eagle Rare, but I'm not I'm not positive. I, I've drank down enough. I kept trying to drink down so the color's gone, and I can't really remember. Um, let's just finish each one. Yes, rich, zesty, awesome. Uh, both fantastic. Get them both. Very similar profiles. This one maybe seems a little bit more brown sugary, a little bit more campfirey. Um, a slight bit of flavor, but this one here, I mean, I don't know which one's which. I keep pointing at the bottle because it's left and right. But this one is smoother all the way through. Just smooth like butter. It's just, just start to finish caramel and a little oak and a little zest and just fantastic. But this one's got that deep brown sugar, almost like you're making some sort of a molasses pie. It's it's so good and a little char reminds me like I'm making a some sort of those little things you're making up at the campfire. They put your toast in, you stuff it full of whatever you want in there and make like this pie over the campfire. That's this one. So I am going with this one. Let's see what it is. And it is <laughs> glasses, everybody. I'm going to go off camera and for some help. 1910. This is 1910 is the winner. It takes down Eagle Rare in a blind taste test. Get one on a shelf in your glass. Of course, look for Eagle Rare. Very smooth, very good. But if you want something comparable that is so delicious to drink, um, not aged near as long, but it's double oaked. It's got this amazing brown sugar, maybe maple syrup, um, toasty marshmallow campfire awesomeness. This also is smooth all the way through. This isn't quite as smooth, very smooth. Get both. This is harder to find. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. 1910 versus Eagle Rare. Let's find something else to go against 1910. I will be looking. So this has a double oak. Maybe Woodford double oak. Let's try that one. Cheers, everybody.